Family time and going diving are my two favorite activities. Combining them can be tricky. But today is starting perfectly as we are instantly greeted by dolphins. Our first goal is to get some kole to fry. These smaller fish live in the shallows under the boulders. Asa and Justin get to work and Buddy and I tag along. Mom duty in the middle of the ocean isn't the easiest, but there's seriously nowhere else I'd rather be. And alas, it's my turn to die. Justin and I move out to deeper water as Buddy naps and Asa watches him. This spot is brimming with Munu, a delicious goatfish. I'm using this structure for cover and waiting for the Munu to approach. Just the turn of my head can spook all the fish around me and it's important to let them come. The more I get surrounded by these fish, the more likely it is that the Munu I want will come in too. Opelukala and Kala surround me first, then the Palanis follow, and finally, the Munu comes in. I take my shot, and land it. There are so many beautiful Munu around that I convinced Justin to try to get one himself and I get behind the camera for a change. I taught Justin to dive and it's so fun to now watch him hunt. I'm making a noise to let him know Amunu is coming. I can't even explain the victory I feel when he gets a fish. Coming back to the boat after a quick dive has never been so rewarding. I'm grateful for being able to bring Buddy along and for those who make it possible. You gonna drive? You gonna help off a drive? Hello, there you go. Get happy and you know it. Name your face was early, show it. So that was an awesome day on the ocean and now we're back on land. We're gonna have a fish fry. We are going to steam the moo and stuff it. It's gonna be delicious. That's it. Exactly. Yes. Yes. But Justin, I feel like I have to catch of the day with this extra large munu, and this one we'll bring back home and do a special recipe with. But for now, we feast. So I am scoring kole, I am heating up oil, and we're gonna fry fish. You see, not our dog. So high heat. Mm 
I am just so happy to be doing this. I'm so happy to be doing parenthood and and I never realized like that it would be something possible to just bring him along with us as we do. But now that we're actually doing it, I'm just like kind of pinching myself because it just feels like so much more fun. I don't know how else to even say it. This is the coolest thing I have ever done in my life is just be a parent. And it's something I've been told a lot. Um, but now that I'm actually doing it in my way with my flow, um, it's just so special. It's such an adventure every day. What do you think, Cleo? These are all classic dishes of Hawaii. Serving these foods together makes any gathering a special occasion, as does the time spent with Ohana. God bless the child that's got his own. But he's got his own. The strong get more while the weak ones fade. Empty pockets don't ever make a break. Your mama may have, and your papa may have. God bless the child that's got his own. Buddy, you got your own. You are my sunshine, my only son. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much we love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Please don't take my sunshine away. We're back home with full hearts and one more fish to cook. Oh, you crashed them out. <laughs> Good morning. So welcome back home. This fish that Justin shot is a specimen. I mean, this is a beautiful munu. It's first thing in the morning. We normally don't have this for breakfast, but we're gonna do it this afternoon. And Justin and I both forgot that Buddy has a doctor's appointment. Isn't that right, Buddy? It's not even 7 a.m. And we are doing sweet sour fish for breakfast. <clears throat> so Buddy has been making a lot more noises. He's a jabberbock. He just talks, 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 don't you, baby? So this is cornstarch. <clears throat> Today we're going to use cornstarch to fry. So what I'm doing is I'm putting it in a paper bag because it'll be less mess. And now, you wanna hold this? Please don't drop it, just hold it. And now, I cut my fish in half because it's not all gonna fit in that pan. That's the main reason why I cut it. So now I'm gonna salt this fish. Baby, watch this. <clears throat> shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Open it. How's that raw onion? <laughs> Yeah? Okay, so while, while I'm doing this, I already have some grape seed oil heating up in a cast iron pan. And now I'm gonna take these pieces of fish and I'm going to, look, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it. Now watch what happens, baby. It's such a cool trick. I mean, really, it is. Look at how coated that fish is. No mess. Okay, now we'll do the other half. And we shake it, 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 shake it. How'd you do? Let me see. Let mama see. Beautiful, buddy. 
That's a well-coated fish. Good job. Inside too. See that? Okay, so it's time to fry this fish head. Is our oil ready? There we go. Putting it in nice and gentle. And so I don't mind it being a somewhat lower temperature to start so that that fish cooks all the way through. But by the time we pull it, we want it to be bubbling more crispy. Are you helping mama cook, buddy? Cool, ready? Stop, stop, stop. Okay, not, not too much, okay? Just relax. Okay, I'm just gonna do some onion slices. Here, buddy, you want an onion root? That's all you. You can have it. I give this to you. It's a gift. Care about you. Oh, he cares about you, Dad. So we're going for really big, big old chunky slices. That's... Yes. Here, baby. I see you. That's for Buddy. Okay, and I'm gonna mince some garlic. And normally a big, big piece of ginger, I would just be smashing it right now, smashing it. But I already have this minced, minced ginger root that I cut up a few days ago. You don't have to throw those. Um, buddy, that was not okay with me. And we're just gonna we're just gonna use we're just gonna use this instead. Okay, let's check our fish. Come on, baby. Woohoo! <laughs> back away, buddy. No. So look at that. Remember Justin when it was as easy as just putting him on the side in the rocks and he would just occupy himself? Yeah, well, those times are gone. Yeah. Okay, that was fun. So when Justin and I decided we wanted to start a YouTube channel, we decided we wanted to commit to making a year's worth of content, weekly content. We basically have one year's worth of some really damn good home videos of watching, watching our son grow and just watching what we did. That to me is really neat. I didn't expect that. I just wanted to create content that would help brighten people's days during a hard time the world was going through. And that one year mark is coming up this month. What to do next? Because that kind of makes our goal complete. Not to say we're going anywhere, we're not, but we're probably gonna take a break from the weekly stuff and just regroup, you know, regroup with our team and see what direction we might wanna go in next. Buddy boy, you wanna, you wanna try some fish? Here it comes, once the food's ready. But this looks beautiful. Just gonna put it on a plate. Wow, that's a big, a big muno you got, Justin. Check it, buddy. Woo, that looks good. This is how you use tongs. I know your hands are small, but you can do it. There you go, you got it. You close it. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. I got that hair. I actually learned this recipe from my Uncle Billy. I feel like I say that a lot, but Garrett Lee from Sutomo Lures, he, we did a video with him. His family taught me so much about how to cook fish and food here in Hawaii. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? The best way to keep our child in one place is to contain him in water. Take off your, your pajamas. <gasps> you ready? <laughs> you ready? Oh, what's that in there? Tongs? Oh, buddy loves the water. <laughs> so now we have a beautiful fried fish that you can see you can put back together. And now we're gonna do we're gonna do our toppings first. Our toppings and then our sauce. Just because I only have one burner, so I'm doing things one at a time. Onions. Okay, and then Beautiful bell peppers, already seasoned in minced ginger, thanks to Buddy. Yeah, I was just giving you a shout out. Found um, a chewed up bell pepper from Buddy. 
Add some garlic, we'll throw that in. We just want these sauteed, just till they're still a little tender, but still al dente. Okay, these veg are ready. I'm gonna pull them and I'm gonna put on a pot because we're gonna make our sweet sour sauce. The main event. Look at um, this cast iron, how it's still sizzling. And that's one thing I love about cast iron is it just holds its heat so nice, nice and evenly, and it just lasts a long time. So you can just put a teeny splash of oil. Oh, that was a little much, but that's okay. Um, and we're gonna start with our ginger because ginger is gonna be the main, one of the main flavors of our sweet sour sauce. And again, it doesn't have to be this mince. Usually I just smash it or chunk it and then remove it later. But since I already had some that I minced, we're just gonna go for it. Use what get? Sugar. I do have apple cider vinegar, so I'm gonna go for that. A little vinegar goes a long way, but I still use a lot. Cause I like that twang. Next up, soy sauce. I'll give it a little stir. And then the next ingredient is interesting. Most people probably wouldn't think ketchup, but ketchup and sweet sour sauce is pretty darn excellent. So I'm gonna put some water cause those are all very strong flavors. We do want it strong because it's gonna go over a lot of fish, you know, it's just gonna coat, coat it and so we want that to be pretty pungent. So we don't want it too watery, but not, you know. Woo, that is still so pungent, that vinegar. But you know what, I like it. Okay, so now I want to bring this up, bring this to a simmer. And I'm going to make a cornstarch slurry. Okay, so I'm gonna put some cornstarch in there. Ooh, that might be a lot. Pour some water and cornstarch slurry, I always use my finger because that's how you get all the lumps out. I'm gonna put this into my simmering sauce and that's gonna thicken it. You sweeping? Cool, I love when you're cleaning up. Don't touch anything here. Here, come, sweep. Come on, come. yeah, I got, oh, oh. Hold like this and sweep. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Clean, clean, clean. See, so I, this consistency is just looking beautiful. It's so hot though, it's just so hot. But you know what you can have is you can try a bell pepper now that it's cooked since you're eating it raw. Wanna try it? Mm. Can I have a bite? Mmm, thank you for sharing. Okay, this sauce is looking beautiful and ready. I think we're ready to put it all together. So now this fish we know is just crispy all the way through and cooked and kind of somewhat cooled off and I'm just gonna lay it down on its side. Next, I'm gonna just put these beautiful veggies all over our fish and on the side of the fish, just everywhere. You gotta watch what I'm doing? Oh, I just love wet baby. Yeah, yeah, wet baby in my arms. If you're going to a dinner, you can always fry your fish ahead of time, saute your vegetables, and put your sauce in like in an insulated water bottle where it'll keep it hot, because then it'll just warm your fish right up at the party. Here we go, buddy, watch this, watch this. <gasps> wow, it just looks like caramel candy fish, but in fact, it is sweet sour fish. Our final touch is if you have fresh cilantro and green onions, you can just put it right on top. It's a work of art, isn't it? Beautiful. Good girl, Kaya. See, aren't you so lucky, buddy? We have so many not our dog friends that come and clean up your mess that you make. And now it's our moment of truth. Want to try some fish, baby? Okay, I think that means yes. Look at how beautiful that is. So this is a munu that your daddy caught. Mm, how do you like it? 
Is, do you like fish for breakfast, buddy? Mm. Mm, me too. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the skin on the outside is just like so crispy and so flavorful. And then that meat, we're usually, you know, used to eating goat fish always steamed, but that meat is just perfect. It's just sweet and succulent. It doesn't really get soggy. It just, it just soaks into that crispy skin and it just becomes like this caramelized goodness. Oh, I love when you're snuggly, buddy. Okay, so this bite for Dada. Oh, this one's for Dada. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna give into your whining. Watch, 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 say Dada, say ah. Oh. Ooh, yummy, <gasps> ah. Mmm. Mmm. We have to share as a family. Oh. <laughs> Knuckles, buddy, that was good. That was good, right? Yeah, so good. Bite. That's too big. I meant like bite a piece off. Yeah, take it out. Take a smaller bite. Yeah, there Going you go. back again. There it is. The whole thing. Buddy, how's that working out for you? Did it go in there? You've turned him into a, a food connoisseur already. <sighs> and so I think one of the most wonderful things about this is not just how delicious it is, but when I think of all the beautiful family time that we got this day out on the ocean, Buddy stayed on a boogie board for two hours while we got fry fish. And then being able to, you know, to hunt with Dad while Buddy slept and even get behind the camera and film Justin getting this beaut was awesome. And just all the great people and time we got to spend with them. Papa Larry singing music for Buddy. Those are all the things that go through my mind with every single bite. It's just gratitude for our beautiful day in the ocean and how it brings, just brings us together, makes us celebrate in love and good food. And um, that's a pretty special breakfast. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this episode because we enjoyed making it for you. And please, please make sure to subscribe because as we come upon our year mark, it's a good way to stay tuned to see what's next for us. But we're not done yet. And we still have two more episodes coming to you every Thursday. So stay tuned and we'll see you back next week. <laughs>